Hi there, I'm Marshall Lefferts. I am author of the book Cosmometry, Exploring the Holofractal Nature of the Cosmos. And I've been a student of Buckminster Fuller's work for 40 plus years when I first encountered Bucky in 1978 and I read his book Intuition and it changed my life. And so uh, I've been exploring at least a part of what Bucky talked about. It's very vast, of course, uh, and I got what I got, and that's what I share in my book. So uh, I welcome you to check that out. So we're here at uh, a, a geodesic dome uh, made by Pacific Domes. Uh, Asha has been a, a longtime friend of mine. And uh, the question is, is how, what makes domes so um, strong? What makes them have such integrity to their structure? And the key to this is what, um, what Bucky realized when he was exploring what he called nature's coordinate system. And he wrote these incredible books called Synergetics. That uh, he came to understand that throughout nature, when you look at all scales of how nature creates structure, it's based on triangulation rather than the rectangles that we use in most of the homes that we have. Of course, when we build rectangular homes, we still have to put in triangles to make them structurally strong. And so what Bucky decided to do was mimic what nature does and create structures that are tri triangle based. And so he spent many years coming up with the formula to create a dome shape based on triangulation, which he ultimately created the geodesic dome. And the, the, the significance of that is that the full triangulation of the dome and the full integrated structure as one unit makes it so that the, the integrity of that structure is very, very strong. You can put so much weight on one of these domes and it just actually makes the thing even tighter and stronger as you add more weight to it. Uh, whereas if you put a lot of weight on a traditional rectangular or square structured home, it would likely collapse. Um, so that's it's what I call in the book structural integrity. It's, uh, it's that triangulated um, nature, that, the, the geometry that nature uses that we find all throughout nature these very strong structures in the crystalline structures and in some of the organisms like radiolaria where it's literally using the same geometry as you see in the dome here. The relationship between the structural aspects that we see like in a dome and then we have the more vibratory and fluid aspects and there's a relationship between the two that is constantly occurring. That's what creates all form in the universe and the underlying principle that organizes all that is directly comes from what we know as music. Um, music is not something we created, it's something we discovered. We can, in, we can create and invent with music, but we did not invent music. Um, music, that harmonic nature, is what underlies all of the order that we see throughout all nature at all scales, not just the nature we see in our world, but the, the planetary orbital relationships, the solar systems, the galactic structures on down into the, to the atomic and quantum level. You can find the same organizing principles there. And so there's a uh, harmonic relationship to the, to the geometry of the dome that is actually miming, mimicking the same harmonic relationship that organizes any spherical structure, actually all spherical structures in the universe based on that same kind of harmonic geometry. And it's because of that harmonic geometry that the integrity of the structure comes in. And again, uh, what nature uses is the most efficient and strong kind of geometric structure to create form in the universe. So uh, that's how that harmonic nature is uh, being expressed in these kind of forms. One of the things that's most important about the the geodesic dome as a structure is the the efficiency you gain when you encompass a space spherically as opposed to in in trying or in uh, squares and rectangles rectangular spaces um, the sphere has the greatest amount of volume for the least amount of surface area and so when you think about exposure to the elements and the necessity to control the climate inside and outside, uh, it can provide a much more efficient um, 
literal space, you know, form and space in order to accomplish that. As well as again, the, the structural efficiency. So you can use a lot less material to create a structure like this that's far stronger. And I think especially in, in areas where you have, you know, more prone to earthquakes and those kinds of disruptions potentially, or in heavily snow laden or ice laden regions, these kinds of forms can really provide that efficiency and benefit much more so than others.